everything. Oh, very professional. Don't sound so surprised. What have you come as, eh? Insurance salesman. A few more remarks like that and you're going to need some insurance. I am going to see a recruitment agency. Oh, you mean job centre? I've got a lot of valuable experience. Yep, none of which you can put on a CV. Though. Oh, shut your face, you. Ignore him. Oh, I try so hard, but he just keeps following me around. <laughs> right, wish me luck. Good luck. Yep, you're going to need it. Really? Am I, though? Am I? <laughs> you asked for that. She still won't get a job. Tanner says she does. <laughs> what? You scared I'm going to win this time? Right. So the tenant for me. Like, what's the car? Take it that didn't go too well, sweetheart. Didn't even get past the reception. Because they're not interested in experience. All they want is flaming. Certificates! Not even with a skirt that short. Look, I can have a word with the suppliers if you want. Yeah, I can just see you selling fan belts. Well, at least Debbie's willing to help. I am prepared to muck in. I tell you what, why don't we go home right now and I will give you an interview. Oh, oh. please! I guarantee you will get the job. What, and lose the bet? You made another bet on me! Well, somebody didn't believe that you would get a job today. I couldn't resist a dead sir. You're not exactly one of life's grafters, are you? Just you wait. Oh, I'll hold on to that teller for now, shall I, Dad? No, I'd hand it over now, because the morning I've had, I am through with job hunting. I need a drink. So, is it true what everyone's been saying about Ashley and this Sally woman? I wouldn't know. I reckon he's been giving them all in pastoral care. <laughs> well, I'm in my own business. All right. Well, I'm only trying to brighten up an otherwise very... Boring day, do you know what I mean? How many of those have you had? Uh, who made you drinks, Monitor? You can't drive if you've had a skin full. Good job I'm not going anywhere then, isn't it? I've got a delivery, I need a driver. You're offering me a job? A one-off run. That's it. We're hardly selling it. Not when I'm nice and settled here. I'll pay the going rate. Cash in hand. Ooh, you must be desperate. Would you think I'd be here if I wasn't? So where are you going to beg? It's from the factory to Darlington. Take it or leave it. Time and a half for the inconvenience. Don't push it. Suit yourself. OK. <laughs> Looks like you find yourself a driver. Boss. Did you know about this? Eh? Yeah? So what? She can drive. I know. But her? Uh... Well, it was last minute, wasn't it? It's not like you left him much choice. Careful. My ears are about to burst into flames. Thanks for doing this. Trust me, seeing Carl squirm was more than worth it. Besides, coming back here filled me with such excitement. Carl expects us to trust this delivery to you. What's wrong with that? Well, will it get there for a start? Fine. Call your client, tell him I'm not coming. Good. Now, can we get a move on? I am a busy lady. Lighten up, will ya? What could go wrong? Don't. don't just, can you just wait until I've finished? Wait until I've finished. Your Uncle Jimmy's here now. And you don't break those. When do I get to have a go on that, then? Oh, on the way home from the pub with a few pints inside you. Had a busy day then, while some of us have been stuck in traffic. It's had its moments. Dang. <sighs> oh, only a bloke would buy a garden toy in winter. What's Charity doing? Driving one of our trucks? I'll call the police. She's not stolen it. She's doing a job for me. Jimmy! Mum, what are you doing? What's it look like? Where's your dad? Uh, on a parts run. Well, just make sure you get your winnings, cos after all, a bet's a bet. Are you sure you want him to find out? He's not going to be happy. Tough. 
No need for a welcoming committee. Job done. Shall we talk cash? Once we check with the customer, made sure that it actually got there. Fine by me. You know where to find me. See ya. You want a brew? What I want is an explanation. OK. You pop the kettle on. You get one of these. Tea bag. You pop it in there. You know what I mean? I just saw Carl outside, dead quick to tell me that you'd done a good job for him. Well, that's good to hear. I hope you didn't do anything stupid. He's lucky his kids were about. It was a job, right? A few quid to put in the pot. Which reminds me, you owe Debbie for that bet you made. Oh. Always wear a sore loser. You don't get it, do you? What's there to get? I was offered a job and I took it. And you know what? I enjoyed it and I would do it again. Beats sitting round here bored out my tree. And that's it, is it? End the conversation. Looks like it, yeah. Unless you want to go and beat your chest some more. <sighs> Devil's picking no and Sarah up. So, you know, we can have a little chat, saving the atmosphere later. Seems to me like you've said it all. Carl turned up at the pub, he was desperate, and I couldn't resist making him grovel. You mean you wanted to get one over on me, more like? Oh, yeah, cos this is all about you. I hate them. So? All the more reason to take the money. And you said yourself I needed to start pulling me away. I'm not working for that lot. You make it sound like I needed your permission? <sighs> this is my life and I will do as I flaming well please. Yeah, well, you always were a selfish cow. Yeah? Well, I haven't changed. And if you don't like it, you know what you can do. <laughs> 